Usually when you think of GeForce GTX or GeForce RTX, you think of gaming. And that's intentional. They are gaming products. But what NVIDIA has been working very hard at is making them into a more important processor in your system. And nowadays, uh, RTX graphics cards are used in a lot of creative workflows. Uh, and one of the ones that I utilize it for um, that I think is really cool is to use it for Blender. Now, you may not be familiar with Blender, and if you're not, um, this will be an introduction on how to get it installed and get it configured on your RTX rig, but there are great tutorials out there on how to actually use the product. Um, basically, it's a 3D modeling software uh, animation suite, um, similar to 3D Studio or Maya, uh, except this one is open source and completely free. Uh, and it does support rendering from CUDA, uh, which is the API that NVIDIA uses to utilize their GPUs uh, for rendering. So to get started here, uh, the first thing we actually want to do is we want to get the creator's driver for the graphics card. There is a gaming driver and NVIDIA releases those on regular intervals. They also now have uh, creator's drivers that are meant for people that are using these on creative workflows and professional work. So we want to go to geforce.com slash drivers and this card is a 2080 Ti and this is Windows 10 we want to go for the studio driver version 430.86 is the current one as of this recording date download that and install it Installing these drivers would be the same as any other graphics driver from NVIDIA. So if you've installed drivers for your card before, and if not, we do have a how-to video for that. Um, but it's going to be the same way, so we'll breeze through this and then move on to the actual getting of Blender. Now to get Blender, we want to go to blender.org. So go ahead and open your browser, and then go to blender.org. And what's important to note here is that the RTX cards are supported specifically on the 2.8 beta version of Blender. So uh, don't download the 2.79 version, which is the current release of it, because um, it will not work. Go to try the beta. And we'll go ahead and go for the 64-bit Windows version. And the interesting thing about it is that this beta version of Blender is a portable program, so you don't actually install it. Um, the act of uh, extracting it will actually make it functional, so um, you can extract it to whatever location you want to save that program, uh, and then you can just run the Blender executable that's in that folder. Now I actually have a specific file that I want to have open, uh, and it's a 3D model for this case, so that we can do um, some of the modeling and the imagery that we do for our website uh, we can do with this in Blender. And here we go. And I can tell it to start rendering and by default it's going to be rendering on the CPU which in this system is an i5-8600K uh, and that is not very fast for this type of work. Realistically um, a lot of the CPU makers like to use Blender as a benchmarking tool um, and it's good because it's a very uh, controlled environment and a good benchmarking tool, but realistically you probably don't want to do any rendering on a CPU because it's just too slow. Um, I recommend in most cases getting an RTX card because that is the fastest way to do cycles rendering, uh, which is what you want to do if you're doing photorealistic rendering in Blender. Um, and we can see here uh, getting to the 50 sample just for the preview is going to take a very, very long time. To get it to run on the GPU, we want to go to Edit, go to Preferences, and then we want to select CUDA, because this is a CUDA-supported graphics card. And we can go ahead and keep both of these checked. Now you can close that and make sure you're clicked on this Render tab. Maybe you're on a different tab, but go to the Render tab and then you want your device to be the GPU Compute, which in this case is our RTX 2080 Ti. And then I can go back to the render view, and we can see how much faster it's going through the samples. Uh, I, my estimate is it's at least 15 times faster than using the CPU for this. And the, and the same will actually be true of uh, rendering out the final image as well. Um, so for somebody like me, uh, that speed benefit would make a huge difference in the amount of time that we're spending uh, working on a model like this uh, for the website. So 
hopefully you found this tutorial uh, useful. Uh, we wanna have more stuff like this where we can really show you how to use the products. Um, it's not just all about gaming. Uh, as this shows, RTX cards can actually do some real work. Uh, and this is one of the most intensive things that you can do on a computer these days. Um, and just by having an RTX in there, you can make the workflow uh, multiple times faster than it would otherwise be. Um, so expect more content like this in the future. At any rate, uh, sound off in the comments if you have any questions or concerns. Uh, any, if you want any future video ideas on what we can do with these cards, you can put those in there as well. As ever, uh, subscribe to this channel and ring the bell notifications so that we can tell you when we have new uploads and you have a good rest of your day.